there is no shortage of reasons that having a character like Naru be the action hero in a movie like this is an incredible uh feat and move I think having an indigenous female action hero is historic um and I think it's an incredible thing that Dan and 20th Century did to have such a vote of confidence toward um indigenous people and indigenous storytelling to get behind uh having a figure like that that people can hopefully look at and feel connected to or inspired by and and you know also hopefully that is represented in a way that is i think grounded and human and relatable and also very cool <laughs> I first auditioned for this film and for the role of Naru in February of 2020 was the first time that I ever met Dan and then this film disappeared for a while and came back and I never had any idea that it was a predator film. I only knew that it was a movie about a young Comanche woman who wanted to be a hunter and I thought that she was very interesting. I really connected with her for some reason and I thought that the movie you know, what little I knew about it, the concept was was unique, and I'm a huge fan of Dan. I think he's just, I think the world of him and, and his ability as a filmmaker, um, and also a person, so all of those things were already enough for me, and then later I found out that it was a part of the Predator world. Um, Naru is determined. She is stubborn. <laughs> She's focused. She's the kind of person that the more you tell her no, the more she wants to prove yes. And she is instinctive, you know. She has this idea of where she should be or this feeling of being drawn to something, even though people are constantly telling her to do something else or go somewhere else. She she has a feeling about where she really belongs and what she really should be doing and I think the way that she follows her intuition and the way that she follows her instincts um, are unique and interesting and carry her through uh, quite the journey. <laughs> there was not a day of this film <laughs> that did not present challenges so it's hard to say it's hard to pick any one thing in particular that was most challenging about playing this role or making this movie. But I mean, the concept of the idea of not wanting to let anybody down, you know, this obviously takes place 1719 uh, in the Comanche Nation. And I'm not Comanche, I am uh, Lakota, Nakota, and Dakota. So I'm also, I also come from Plains people. But, you know, Comanches were incredible warriors and they were incredible hunters. So it was important to me to represent their people well and to do right by the Comanche people um, on top of obviously just wanting to be skilled and even working with somebody like Dan, you know, wanted to like never, you know, come in always prepared or always ready to do my best or, or you know, face whatever physical challenge there was going to be. I mean, there's truly no shortage of things that made this movie unique. <laughs> I am Lakota, Nakota, and Dakota, so those are all Plains tribes, so I do come from Plains people, and the Comanche people are also Plains people, though they are obviously a completely different, you know, tribe than, than me and than I grew up in, but the cultures do, Comanche culture and my culture do share some similarities, so the process of learning about that was really special to me and unique to be able to show up to work and supposed to I was supposed to be learning about you know the Comanche people and the Comanche nation and Comanche history and so that to me was really was really fun and and I really felt privileged by that and it was amazing to learn about you know different things that we share or different places where we differ and of course you know if somebody were representing my people I I would take that seriously and so representing you know Comanche people I definitely took that seriously. Uh, this a huge thing that made this film unique was how collaborative Dan is and how 
kind and grounded and open. I, I think he really put a huge effort into making an environment where everybody felt cared for and everybody felt comfortable and supported. And, and from the beginning, he was so open to, especially with culture stuff, but with anything like hearing everybody and wanting to know, like, if you have any ideas of little culture things that can be incorporated or, or this stuff or this thing, like just so open and so willing to learn and, and hear people. So, um, I am so grateful for that experience.